40%, I want to say, I wish I had it saved. I think it was 40% of Gen Z um, and pretty close to that of millennials identify it as LGBT in, some, in, in that category as something. Um, and then I was reading one of your articles and it was saying that people that are in, um, as you sta- stated, poly relationships, so that's anything that's an open, so open poly, um, swingers, et cetera, that that's actually higher than the gay community. Is that still accurate with these this younger generation coming up, or has right. that been updated? Yeah, that's a good that's a good question. Um, so probably among we don't have really good data on this, but probably among millennials and Gen Z, like people under let's say under age thirty five, poly and open relationships are surprisingly common. Like they're not the majority. They we're not sure. It might be like somewhere between f- probably five to fifteen percent of people under thirty-five are in some kind of open relationship where there's some mm-hmm. negotiated degree of like non-exclusivity. Mm-hmm. And the percentage of people who have like at least tried that at some point in their life is probably quite a bit higher. Mm-hmm. The the you know previous data about what percent of people are LGBTQ. It was well under 5% until just a few years ago. Mm -hmm. And then you get this dramatic increase in kind of like woke culture and trans rights and a lot more kind of awareness of LGBTQ where it becomes kind of a um, a badge of honor Mm. rather than a badge of shame to be in that that category. Mm -hmm. Personally, I think sexual orientation is largely biological in terms of like how attracted you are to a particular sex, particularly for males. Mm -hmm. Right. I think an awful lot of males are like really deep in their hearts, basically either straight or gay. And there's like some bisexuality, but it's not that common. Mm -hmm. I think for women, there's a lot more kind of flexible bisexuality. There's a lot of data on this. Mm -hmm. So the percentage of women who are like strict, hardcore, lesbian, not interested in men at all is much lower than the percent of men who are gay. Mm -hmm. But there's a lot more women who are kind of like, yeah, I'm attracted to women. I'm attracted to men. I could go either way depending on social circumstances. Mm -hmm. Um, So I think a lot of this increase is kind of people align it's partly people aligning with lgbtq for kind of political reasons right you know i want to signal i'm open and Mm -hmm. i'm not judging those people so i actually adopt that identity and partly i think it's an increase in kind of um bisexuality uh particularly among young women Mm -hmm. so that's 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 my long take on that 